Hi, my name is Janet Wright and I am a psychic reader and energy healer and this video is about parents and their children and the spiritual aspects of how we choose our parents uh, before our life begins. Uh, so it can be, I think you could listen to this just if, I mean, you had a parent, which obviously you did. Um, or you can listen to it if you are considering becoming a parent yourself or if you are already a parent. So everybody. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, you may have already heard this, but I have seen it myself as a psychic reader. Um, we do choose our parents. So even if you didn't get along with them and they, you know, it's like, you think they're just a different species than you are. It doesn't matter. Um, some some people, uh, everybody, when your life is being planned before you have your lifetime, um, the angels are helping you to plan your life. They, it's very detailed planning, um, and they help you to, you know, get a grip on what you need to learn, ideally, and um, you know, maybe there's some like old friends and it's planned that you reconnect with them. Uh, you know, maybe it's planned that you, um, you know, meet uh, your partner. Uh, you know, sometimes I think people have a couple, you know, really special partners that they can have. Um, and so there's like different potential scenarios. So I think some things are written in stone, but a lot is sort of um, kind of like, different pathways that go out and um, you know with different crossroads and so that's why you know it's really good to try to live a, a positive healthy life so that you can you know go on all the fun routes of your life that you want um, you know kind of make the most of of what you planned with the angels for your lifetime um, but anyway so but as part of that pre-life planning um, you, the angels help you to consider what kind of parents um, you should pick. And it's a mutual agreement. The parents um, on a higher subconscious level, you know, in their sleep with their angels, they pick the baby spirits too. So it's like a, a mutual shopping thing <laughs> where the, you know, before your life, you're like a baby spirit and you're shopping around for parents. And um, so your angels help you. Maybe it would be best for your learning and growth if you were the child of a single mother, you know? And so you just have like a, a very flimsy temporary agreement with the biological father. Um, and, or maybe, um, you know, maybe it's helping your learning if you get along really well with one of your parents um, and maybe you've had positive past lives with that parent but not with the other, that you have had a negative past life with the other one. And so, you know, maybe you get to resolve that this time, or maybe, you know, you just realize, wow, we, we're totally different and we should not even try, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, so, you know, I think we're shown most of the time on TV, you know, growing up, you know, personally, I, I was born in 1970, so I, you know, grew up watching the Brady Bunch and the Partridge Family and stuff like that. and. And they all pretty much got along, you know. I mean, Greg, of course, this was fictional, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you know, in real life, that doesn't happen. Uh, it, it does happen, but not as frequently as we see it on TV. <laughs> okay? It's, that's how I'll word it. So, you know, I read thousands of people pretty much um, on a regular basis. Not every week. <laughs> I can't do that. I only read uh, 12 people in a week at this point. Um, otherwise, it's just too much for me. But um, anyway, a lot of people have, you know, maybe a sibling that they really don't get along with or an entire family that they just feel like, who are they? <laughs> you know, like, and it's possible actually that you've had only negative past lives with your genetic family um, in this lifetime. And, you know, if that's the case, you know, you picked a more challenging setup, you know, for your life. But that's sort of like Spirit Olympics, that, you know, you pick challenges so that you can overcome them and get to the positive, you know, yay, kind of Phoenix Rising eureka moment of like, wow, I'm, I can make myself healthy 
you know, almost despite, you know, these negative people in my life. So, you know, not everybody's like the Brady Bunch, you know, <laughs> with their family. Um, but I guess what I would say is sometimes I read um, adults who are, you know, trying to conceive, you know, and um, to be honest, the angels are all, well, not always, but a lot of times the angels do suggest adoption. They do suggest, you know, like considering um, foster kids, um, you know, being a foster family, stuff like that. Um, more often than my angels, then my clients will sort of be open to it. The angels are suggesting it. <laughs> I mean, I say it, but the, the people are like, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it's really good karma um, if you did want to adopt um, a child instead of um, you know having a biological child. Of course, you know, I mean, it's it's good karma if you are good to your biological child, you know? So there's good karma in many ways. Um, but uh, I guess, you know, a, a, a lot of people have that assumption of, you know, the Brady Bunch, you know, and, and it, it gives them a lot of pain when they don't get along with their family, uh, their genetic birth family. Um, and the thing is, you know, I mean, I think maybe TV did us a disservice with that, you know, because we're always expecting it's going to be like that. And it's not, you know, some people do have it. And, you know, if you do have that and you have like the Brady Bunch family, you know, where you really love everybody and more or less get along with everybody, you know, you are truly rich, um, spiritually speaking, you know, I mean, that's just such a, a wealth that you have. Um, but you know, people, people are, are given adversity, like I said, as spiritual Olympics, you know, it's like strength training to build up your self acceptance or your confidence, your certainty or your creativity by growing up in an environment where you did not have like minded people. Uh, so there was uh, possibly abuse or um, possibly just a lot of judgment uh, and criticism, you know, you name it. Um, so I guess what I would say is, um, if you did come from a family where there was uh, cruelty or abuse, um, you know, there is hope, you know? I mean, there, there's a divine reason that you, your angels and you plan something like that. And it's, it's to help you to learn strength and learn to overcome that and learn healing and learn to let go of the emotional baggage um, that you grew up with basically so anyway it is all possible you know uh, that's what a lot of my videos are about um if you if you didn't if you're new to the videos and you feel like yeah i need to heal from the family that i had uh maybe start with my two grounding videos um but anyway, a lot of my videos would help with just rebuilding your spirit um, from whatever you've been through. Uh, but anyway, I don't mean all families negative. You know, a lot of people, um, well, you know, if you're considering becoming a parent, you know, you could really give some thought to what kind of a family experience do you want to have? Um, you know, what kind of, if you're a woman, what kind of a mother do you want to be? If you're a man, what kind of father do you want to be? And is that are you ready like are you have you done your emotional work have you done your um you know are you uh stable enough inside you know because a lot of people you know want to be a good parent but then they're you know they have a ton of baggage that they're not working on and they're kind of a nervous wreck and you know how's that gonna work <laughs> you know <laughs> because being a parent is a tremendously demanding and um you know, it's, it's a real, there are energy shifts all the time uh, with parenthood. And so, you know, if you want my 10 cents, really focus on your personal growth, at, if at all possible, you know, even just a minute a day, you know, try to find some peace, try to uh, heal your emotions um, so that you can create a more positive environment for your family. Okay, so that's my little talk about the spiritual aspects of family and picking parents and picking baby spirits. Bye.